everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel, Lessons with Guitar Man. My name's Aaron, and I'll be your designated driver here today for this great song, Golden Slippers. Now, Golden Slippers is a really cool fiddle tune. Kind of reminds me a lot of being at the carnival, you know? It just has that carnival-type sound to it or whatever, which to me makes it sound pretty cool, you know? Just a whole bunch of straightforward picking and stuff. I've played this song in several bands over the years, and I've always found that if you kind of play this, it seems to get the kids jumping around. And for whatever reason, this song goes over real well in a crowd, especially if you get like a dope bro, a banjo, a fiddle, whatever you got, and everybody playing the same melody just really has a really good jingle to it. Let's go ahead and dive in there and see what makes this thing work. The first thing I want to point out here in Golden Slippers is this tune is in the key of G. Now you can play it in the key, any key you want, just put a capo on and play it anywhere, but most of the groups I've played in seem to play this one in G, D, or A. Now the pickup line here, there's two notes and it's going to be an open, two, open, two, and that's a down up. So one, two, three, four. Pretty straight. All right, now getting into the first measure there, right above the G where it says A part right there, there's a little grayed out one. That little one means the first measure. And if you go over to the next one, you'll see two and so on. And when I say measure three, you can see that little gray three over the third measure. I had a couple questions about that with some students and that's how you can tell what measure you're on. So the first three notes of the first measure are open, open one, so down, down, up, open, open one, okay? And then the next four notes are gonna be a string of eighth notes. It's gonna be open, two, open, two, or down, up, down, up. So that whole measure together is gonna to sound like so. One, two, three, four. Now moving on to the second measure, you're going to see that the second measure is exactly the same as the first measure, so we don't have to learn any new notes there. Okay, so here on the third measure, you're going to have an open, open, one, open. And what that's going to sound like is one, two, three, four. Now you'll see there on the third note in the third measure with the little dot there, that means play a quarter note and also add half the duration of a quarter note to it. So it's going to be. All right. Okay, moving on to the fourth measure here. We're going to the D chord now. And that's going to sound like so. So you're going to have a open, two, two, four. So one, two, three, four. Let's go ahead and play through this whole thing, including the pickup line, all the way through the fourth measure. So here we go. One, two, ready, go. Moving on to the fifth measure here, the first three notes are going to be two, two, four, or down, down, up. So one, two, three, four. Okay, so the last four notes in the fifth measure are going to be two, open, four, open, or down, up measure number five is going to sound like so. One, two, three, four. All right, now moving on to the sixth measure, you're going to see that the sixth measure is exactly the same as the fifth measure, so there's nothing new to learn there. In the seventh measure, what we're going to have is two, two, four, two. One, two, ready, go. eighth measure of the A part here, going back to the G, is going to sound like so. Two, open, 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 two. Or down, 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 up. One, two, three, four. 
playing from the fifth to the eighth measure is going to sound like so. One, two, ready, go. Now the last measure there, number nine, is the second ending. So the first time you come around, you go to the first ending, come back up to the first measure, and then you skip over the first ending, go to the second ending, and that's going to sound like so. Two, open, 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 two. Two, open, 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 two. Okay, so one, two, ready, go. Now let's go ahead and play through the entire A section of Golden Slippers, both endings, and it's going to sound like so. So one, two, ready, go. Now moving on to the B part, starting with measure number 10 on the G chord is going to be open, open two, open, open two, one, two, three, four. Okay, now moving on to measure number 11, we're going to have an open, two, That's pretty straightforward there because we have all quarter notes, all down strokes. So one, two, ready, go. Now moving on to measure number 12. Here we have a little hammer on on the D string, starting with the open D, hammering on to the E note right here, or number two going open two, and then the next two notes are going to be open two. So measure 12 is going to sound like so. One, two, three, four. Now moving on to measure number 13, we're going to have another measure of just quarter notes. So that's going to be all down strokes and that's going to sound like so. One, open, two, Moving on to the 14th measure, we're going to have a hold this first note for three beats. One, two, three, four. All right, so let's go ahead and play from the 10th through the 14th measure of the B part. So one, two, ready, and. Now moving on to the 15th measure, all we're going to have is one note here on the second fret on the G string or the A note, and we're going to hold that for four beats. So one, two, three, four. The last big string of notes we have in this whole tune here is going to be over the D chord again, and we got two strings of eighth notes. And what I've chosen to do here is the classic... I'm sure you've heard that lick in many, many bluegrass and fiddle tunes over the years, and I just chose to keep this one straightforward here. All the notes are on the G string except for one, and it's going to sound like so. Four, two, open, four. Or down, up, down, up. And then the next four notes are going to be two, open, four, two. Whole 
measure together is going to sound like so. One, two, ready, go. The 17th measure over the G here is going to sound like so. Open, open, two. One more time. One, two, three, four. And then if you look at the 18th measure, all we're going to have here is an open G for three beats. All right. Now let's go ahead and play from the 15th measure all the way through the uh, 17th measure. And we'll see what that sounds like. One, two, three, four. So let's go ahead and play through the entire B section with both endings. So one, two, ready, go. So let's go ahead and play through Golden Slippers one time all the way through, and that'll be a wrap on this tune. One, two, a you know what to do. Well, that's a wrap on this tune. This is definitely one worth learning, and I think you're going to get a whole lot out of So make sure you take the extra time and learn the notes properly. There's a good chance once you learn it, the other people in your band may already know it. When you put this thing together, this is a really powerful song on stage. If you have any questions for me, feel free to send me an email in the description listed below. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button, and I'll be seeing you down the road.